You are listening to Yankton Basketball on KYNT, Yankton's home team. This broadcast is brought to you in part by First Dakota National Bank, High V, The UPS Store, Truxedo, First Chiropractic Centers, MT and RC Smith Insurance, FNBO, Vision Care Associates, Yankton Medical Clinic, Yankton Rexall. Now, let's go live to KYNT Sports Director and the voice of Yankton Athletics, Bryce Ladwig. And live from the Summit Activity Center, it's Yankton Bucks Basketball on KYNT Plus and KYN-TV. I'm Bryce Ladwig. Thanks for joining us tonight. This is the 2-9 and nine Yankton Bucks at number 16 in the AA standings. Play host to the 7-5 sixth ranked O'Gorman Knights. It's a classic rivalry, and uh, this rivalry has seen its share of amazing wins, heartbreaking losses, of course, uh, some controversial outcomes, but it's always a competitive game on the hardwood, whether it be right here at the Summit Activity Center or Gorman High School, or, of course, under the lights at the state tournament. Will tonight be any different? Let's find out. This is the High V pregame show. High V was a helpful smile in every aisle. I am in the Fairfield Inn and Suites broadcast booth. Hot breakfast, large family rooms, and a great location can be found at Fairfield Inn and Suites in Yankton at 2607 Broadway Avenue or by calling 605-653-2250. Special shout out to those at the KYN-TV official watch party location, Ben's Brewing Downtown. If it's on KYN-TV, it's on at Ben's Brewing Downtown. Visit bensbrewing.com slash sports to see the upcoming games being shown downtown at Ben's Brewing. I want to thank a few of our sportscaster partners, amongst them America's Best Realty. Tired of renting or apartment living? Ready to upgrade or own your own home? Call America's Best Realty at 260-1600 and unlock the American dream. And Elwood Family Dental Care, where they take care of the entire family and are always welcoming new patients. And Kaiser Heating and Cooling. When it comes to heating and cooling, be the wiser and go with Kaiser. That's Kaiser Heating and Cooling of Yankton. And finally, Explorers Credit Union. Wherever you want your financial journey to take you, Explorers Credit Union is here to help with the vision of financial empowerment for everyone. Discover the difference at ExplorersCU.com. Let's jump into our matchup breakdown. The last time these two teams faced off was January 14th of last season at a Gorman High School. The ending was uh, one of the craziest of the Bucks' entire championship season. Let's take a journey back in time with the game tied at 52 in a Gorman with the basketball. Let's get strapped in for the last eight seconds of overtime. We are knotted up at 52 apiece. And Gorman has the basketball. It'll be Danny Brink to inbound in front of his own bench. Yankton does have two timeouts left, so if they get a stop, they can call a timeout. Danny Brink into Mooney. Mooney now over to Hag. Five seconds, four seconds. It's Eng. Eng. And Rugby gets the steal, sends it up. It's good! shot. The Yankton Bucks are victorious over the O'Gorman Knights. What a shot and what a last second play. The Bucks stops here at O'Gorman High School. Big moment for the season for the Yankton uh, Bucks. You know, aside from winning the double A championship, of course. And uh, the Bucks are coming off a 54 to 39 road victory over Douglas this weekend. Thanks to a very strong second half. And of course, an 18 point effort from Landon Potts. The Bucks are now 2-9 and nine on the season. They're looking uh, to start stringing together some victories to ensure they stay in that Sodex 16 playoff picture. Going into that Douglas game, they're at number 17. That win put them on the very edge at number 16. Remember, the top 16 teams face off in one game playoff to make the state tournament. Top eight host in the bottom eight travel. So right now, the Bucks are back in the Sodex 16 playoff picture. The O'Gorman Knights are coming off a 57-46 victory over a good peer team on Saturday. Uh, they're looking to start adding another winning streak here tonight at the Summit. Uh, the Knights are currently in the top eight in a loss versus a, I would say a loss versus a team ranked 16th would really hurt their seed points. So it kind of in a way they have more to lose in this game as far as uh, seed points are concerned versus the Yankton Bucks. We'll take a break here on the Hy-Vee pregame show. I want to thank a few more of our sportscaster partners first. That includes Aztec. Aztec of, Aztec of Yankton is founded on innovation and a passion to help their customers. Right now, they're offering a healthy sign-on bonus with great wages and benefits. 
Build your career with a group that's built to connect from rock to road. Click careers at AzticIndustries.com. And Midwest Insurance Agency. See Travis and Whitney Devine at Midwest Insurance for your farm, home, and auto insurance needs. Call today to set an appointment. And One Office Solution, the one source for all your office products, including copiers, furniture, and office supplies. One Office Solutions, located next to Pizza Ranch on Broadway in Yankton. And finally, Graham Tire. If you notice issues with your vehicle, don't hesitate to call the service experts at Graham Tire, because they do more than sell tires. That's Graham Tire of Yankton, your auto service and tire store next door. Back after a quick break, this is the High V pregame show, Yankton Bucks basketball on KYNT and KYN TV. Swoosh, nothing but net. Nothing is better than being in the zone on the court or the roads with a brand new car, truck, or SUV from Lewis and Clark Ford Lincoln. Take advantage of the buzzer beater deal going on all month at Lewis and Clark Ford today. He shoots, he scores. That could be you. Get that feeling at Lewis and Clark Ford, a proud sponsor of Yankton High School Athletics. Ground beef is only $2.99 a pound at Hy-Vee. That's not a sale price. That's the price with the Hy-Vee Perks membership. And $2.99 a pound is not just the price today or this week. It's the Perks price every day. With the Hy-Vee Perks membership, you can save on hundreds of products store-wide every time you shop and count on Perks prices to stay the same. So if you want to pay less for ground beef every day, sign up for Hy-Vee Perks. It's free and easy. Some restrictions apply. What's the best beverage to enjoy while rooting on your team? 1919 Root Beer, of course. 1919 is brewed in small batches with only the finest ingredients, real sugar and real vanilla. The unique recipe and these choice ingredients make 1919 the creamiest full-bodied draft root beer available. Find it in 12 packs and single-serve cans at grocery, convenience stores, and restaurants. 1919 is alcohol-free and contains no caffeine, making it a beverage of choice at any time for anyone in the family. Don't get caught in the cold this winter. Call the heating and cooling experts at Kaiser Heating and Cooling today. Our team of experienced trained technicians are here to ensure your home stays warm and comfortable all season long with heating system installations, maintenance, and energy efficient solutions to keep those utility bills in check. And if your old heating system is on its last leg, ask us about current train system offers. Don't wait until it's too late. Kaiser Heating and Cooling, serving the Yankton area for over 76 years. Be the wiser and go with Kaiser. Call Kaiser Heating and Cooling today. You may have heard us say when you're shopping online, check things out before checkout. One in four people who reported losing money to fraud since 2021 said it started on social media. If you follow your favorite businesses on social media to get updates about upcoming events and promotions, you're not the only one. Scammers are watching too, and they may hijack legit businesses, giveaways, and promotions to try to get your personal and financial information. Contact the South Dakota Attorney General's Office of Consumer Protection at 800-300-1986. Don't just bank, be an explorer. Here at Explorers Credit Union, we do banking differently. As a not-for-profit, member-owned credit union, we know that financial wellness isn't a destination, it's a journey. We're here to help you set goals and reach them with the financial tools, expertise, and support you need. If you're looking for better rates on your loans and local service from your friends and neighbors, Explorers Credit Union has you covered. Learn how we can help your financial journey at explorerscu.com. At Triple Time Rudy's, not only do you get top-notch fuel to keep you on the move, but it's a destination for delicious local treats. You'll find quality South Dakota products like Dimmick Cheese and premium meats from the Kaler and Renner Lockers. It's your community's pit stop for more than just fuel. Triple Time Rudy supports schools and events and provides fuel discounts to Yankton's largest employers. For all your daily fill-ups and convenience needs, stop by Triple Time Rudy's at 17th and Broadway. The mission of State Farm is to help people manage the risks of everyday life, recover from the unexpected, and realize their dreams. Hi, I'm Roy Wilcox with State Farm Insurance. We have been helping customers get to a better state for over 100 years. No matter where you are in life, we're here to help you make the right play calls for your insurance coverage. Give me a call or stop by anytime. Call Roy Wilcox State Farm Insurance today, 665-7140. Find more at RoyWilcox.com.
And welcome back to the High V pregame show, Yanked in Bucks basketball here on KYNT Plus and KYNTV. I'm Bryce Slatter. Thank you for joining us. And let's jump into your standings review. That's brought to you by Rhonda Westland State Farm Insurance. Let Rhonda review your current home, auto, or life insurance to see if she can help you save some money. It's Rhonda Westland State Farm. We check on the AA standings in boys basketball. And uh, Brookings at number 19, Rapid City Central at 18, Douglas at 17. Those are the three teams on the outside looking in for the playoff picture. And then it's Yankton holding on to that 16th spot with 37.18 seed points. And then it's Sturgis ahead of them at 38.11. Spearfish at 14, Aberdeen at 13, Sioux Falls, Lincoln, and then Jefferson at 12 and 11. Watertown at 10, Huron at 9, Brandon Valley at 8, here at 7, and O'Gorman at Knights here tonight. They are at 6 with 41.33 seed points, a 7-5 record. And that's Rapid City Stevens at number 5, Sioux Falls, Roosevelt, and Washington at 4 and 3, Harrisburg at number 2, and the number 1 team in Class AA, Mitchell, 10 and 1 record, 44.091 seed points. That is your standings review. Again, brought to you by Rhonda Wesleyan State Farm Insurance. And we will have your Bucks pregame coach interview. First, I want to thank a few of our sportscaster partners, including the UPS store, offering packing and shipping, plus printing services, mailboxes, and direct mail services, helping small businesses reach their goals in Yankton across from Walmart and Yankton Thrive. Yes, there is a thriving business economy here in the Yankton area. Your one source and resource for all businesses from retail to manufacturing is Yankton Thrive. For more, go to yanktonsd.com and Northtown Automotive. Your local Chevrolet, Buick, and GMC dealer. Visit northtownusa.com and Floortech. Whether your home or floor is wet, call Floortech 665-4839. Here is my post-game talk from Saturday with Coach Chris Haynes after the Bucks victory over the Douglas Patriots. Go ahead and play that for you as part of our pregame coach interview. Coach, a big victory out here out west. After a long trip, you want to come back with a victory, obviously. I've been covering the Bucks for seven years now, and that is the best Douglas team I've seen. Yeah, they have some guys that can do some things, and we knew that the Fisher kids averaging like 18 a game. And I uh, thought Tucker really did a nice job on him. Obviously, other guys helping on him. You're not going to guard him one-on-one. -on -one. Um, and Yeah, but they have some other big guys, some uh, uh, solid, you know, thick guys down there and, and skilled. Their guards are quick and can get to the basket and get to the paint. Um, but I thought we really buckled down. After the first, you know, minute and a half or whatever, when we gave up nine quick points and, uh, you know, we were a step, half a step slow, uh, I thought our guys responded uh, to that and, and defended pretty well for the most part. It was kind of a tale of two halves, at least from my perspective. You seemed a little angry in the first half, obviously, yeah. but what adjustments were made coming into the second? Oh, well, nothing. I just think our guys, you know, intensity and uh, focus and, you know, things, like I said, things didn't start out well for us and shots weren't falling and, uh, you know, they got a couple baskets. And um, But our guys, again, they've done a nice job this year of, of staying together and, um, and playing hard and competing. And so we just had to reiterate that to him a little bit that, hey, hey guys, I know things didn't start out our way, but we got to settle down here. We got to play basketball. We got to get into it. And then we did. We made a couple shots, and that seemed to relax our guys a little bit. Um, and then, like I said, we were able to get some stops defensively, which was huge. Uh, the love was spread offensively for the Bucks. Uh, Ness, Gilmore, Landon Potts, uh, 12, 18, and 12. Seven points for Matthew Sheldon. It seemed like everyone just really had a hand in the offensive scheme tonight. Yeah, you know, again, those four have been um, pretty steady for us, and especially in the scoring columns. And, uh, you know, Tegan came in and got five points for us. That's huge. We need some other guys to, you know, to make a couple baskets. Um, obviously, those four are playing a lot of minutes, though, so they're going to get more points. But uh, our fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth guys, we need to come in and, and to contribute a little bit. And we got some, we got some good minutes, though. Um, obviously, Tegan had good minutes. Miles had good minutes. Uh, Easton Nelson had really good minutes for us. Uh, Matchups weren't quite um, great for Bryce tonight, uh, just the way it goes sometimes. Uh, Bryce has been playing well. So, uh, But, yeah, like I said, we need to get some guys that are going to come off the bench and make it a couple baskets for us. Well, obviously, Braden covered your Brandon Valley game for us, but obviously I'm keeping very close tabs on it. But you're mentioning your depth coming off there. You're getting more and more minutes as the season progresses. Is that just you're liking what you're seeing in practice? Yeah, absolutely. Obviously, um, you know, Easton's been playing better at here as of late. And then Miles and Tegan uh, really did, done a nice job. Uh, you know, the last couple weeks we had them move up and practicing with us. And then, um, you know, obviously uh, moved them up to the JV and varsity here this weekend. And they've done a nice job. So, um, you know, they've 
gotten their opportunities and kind of taken the advantage of them. All right, thanks to Coach Chris Haynes for joining us on our post game after the victory over Douglas. I do have your sub varsity scores here from the summit, and we'll start with uh, the, the ninth B game. Yankton won that one 47 to 41. The lead score for Yankton is uh, Easton Skellhouse with 13. Uh, Yankton lost the ninth A game uh, 63 to 46. <clears throat> Excuse me. Ivan Hirschman led that one with standby 21. 21 points. Raven Hirschman. And then the uh, sophomore game, Yankton won that one 49 to 40. Owen Eidsness led the Bucks with 13. And then in the JV game, a heartbreaking loss for the Bucks. 46 to 43 on a walk-off three-point shot at the buzzer. Miles Drotsman led the Bucks with 14. So yeah, those are a heartbreaker, but a really solid performance from the Bucks all the way around here uh, today versus rival O'Gorman at Knights. I want to thank Sherco, proud supporter of Yankton Sports. We need to be sure, make it Sherco. And State Farm, Roy Wilcox. Roy Wilcox State Farm Insurance has been helping customers get to a better state for over 100 years. No matter where you are in life, they'll help you make the right play calls for your insurance coverage. It's Roy Wilcox State Farm, proud supporter of Yankton Athletics. And Pizza Ranch. For legendary chicken and the best pizza, it's Yankton Pizza Ranch. It's on Broadway, or you can call 665-1222. And Stockman's Moto Sports. Your local Polaris dealer with a full lineup of Rangers and Sportsmen ready to get you in the fields, in the woods, or wherever you like to go. Stockman's Moto Sports, a proud supporter of all area athletes. We'll take a break, come back, and continue here on the High V pregame show, Yankton Bucks Basketball on KYNT Plus and KYNT TV. The other day, a gal came into the UPS store to drop off a package. On her way out, she noticed the print sample wall and asked if we could print invitations. The answer was, yes, we can. Hi, this is Doug at the UPS store in Yankton and Vermilion. For over seven years now, the UPS store has been helping hundreds of customers with their printing needs. From basic copies to business cards and invitations to posters, we can print them. Stop out and ask about our current print specials and see how we can help with your printing needs. Is it the competition that keeps bringing you back? The long-standing rivalries? Or is it seeing friends again and cheering on your favorite team? At First Dakota, we're here for it all. We appreciate the fans, the players, the coaches and officials, the concessions crew. The shared community experience is part of what makes life here great, and we're here for it. See you at the game. First Dakota National Bank, member FDIC. Oh, Sheboygan, I just can't get you off my mind. There's no better way to tip off your party than with Sheboygan Natural Casing Wieners, all beef hot dogs, or cocktail smokies. Make your party a slam dunk. Put some Sheboygan on the table. Available at your favorite local grocer and produced with pride at Simple Meats in Yankton. The way it tastes is simply divine. I got Sheboygan on my mind. Sheboygan. The season is here for sneezing, stuffy noses, and simply getting sick. If you're not feeling well, remember Yankton Medical Clinic Convenient Care is open seven days a week. Appointment is required. Self-schedule online or call today. Whatever works best for you. The physicians and staff wish everyone a healthy, happy new year. They are thankful for the support of their communities and look forward to serving you in the year ahead. At Yankton Medical Clinic, they strive to provide so much care, so close to home. So, you need a new vehicle. What's the best vehicle for you? Where do you get financing? What's your trade worth? Answer all these questions and more at BillionAuto.com. You can compare 16 new car brands and thousands of used vehicles, all in the palm of your hand, at BillionAuto.com. Plus, estimate the trade value of your vehicle in two easy steps. It's car buying made easy. Apply for credit pre-approval at BillionAuto.com. All applications accepted, not all approved. FNBO is the great big small bank, and for more than 165 years, we've been with you where you are. A bank that's ready for all your needs, both big and small. Here to help you earn more, save more, so you can do more every step of the way. It's what you can expect from the great big small bank. FNBO, independent and family owned for six generations, and ever so focused on you. Stop on by or visit us at FNBO.com, member FDIC. 
If you want a job where your work matters, you belong at Avera. Here, we've invested in our workforce because every Avera team member drives our health ministry forward, making a difference in lives and communities every day. We offer competitive pay, great health insurance, and even career opportunities. We're putting people first, including you. Search for local job openings and apply at avera.org careers. Are you looking for a different career in the new year? Check out the job opportunities at Truxedo, a real truck company. We have openings for a senior environmental health and safety specialist, weekday assembly positions, and a weekend material handler, shipping clerk, and maintenance technician. Applications can be found online at realtruck.com slash careers. Truxedo in Yankton is hiring and offers great benefits. Make the beginning of 2024 a great one by joining the Truxedo team. Welcome back to the High V pregame show, Yankton Bucks basketball on KYN TV Plus and KYN TV. I'm Bryce Slavik. Thank you for joining us. All right, let's jump into your key players of the game here for the O'Gorman Knights versus the Yankton Bucks. And that's brought to you by Missouri River Associates. Looking for insurance agents that have the knowledge to point you in the right direction? Contact Missouri River, Missouri River Associates in Yankton. Key players tonight will be Tucker Gilmore. It just overall, his effectiveness in the paint will be huge. Um, on the season, shooting 47% overall and 61% uh, at the line. 9.8 points per game, 5.5 boards, 11 assists total, 10 total steals, and three blocks. As Tucker Gilmore's stat line, he is our key player of the game. Um, as a team, we should go over those stats as well. Yankton shooting 36% from the floor, 26% uh, from three, 61% uh, at the line as a team, averaging 46.4 points per game. And they are converting 10 points off of turnovers and scoring 21.2 of those points in the paint uh, with their size or lack thereof. That's actually very impressive. In the 24 and a half rebounds per game, 97 total assists, 71 total steals, and eight total blocks. I guess you could say another key player of the game or key by subtraction would be the fact that Matthew Sheldon is not playing tonight. He will not be on the floor. And uh, instead, um, it will be Easton Nelson starting. And uh, for the Bucks, So illness gets to us all, folks. I know it. <laughs> but, yeah, Easton Nelson will be starting for Yankton. And uh, you heard Coach Chris Haynes talk about him in the postgame versus Douglas that he just – he's really earned those minutes back. He has really played well as of late, uh, really impressed the coaching staff. And you can just really see it. He is just all over the floor when he gets into the game. So I'm looking forward to watching him play uh, here at tonight. Your vision of the game that is brought to you by Vision Real Estate, where their focus is always on you. Uh, keep up the rebounding effort. The Bucks are heavily out-rebounded uh, this season so far, uh, but they have started finding way, ways to get those loose balls. You know, a lot of angles, a lot of tipping has been happening, and uh, they're never going to be the biggest team. So they're always going to have to rely on those uh, different ways of doing so, and they have been successful at different points of the season. Your fans of the game brought to you by Triple Time Rudy's. Whether you are traveling to a home or away game, be sure to fuel up at Triple Time Rudy's, located at 1606 Broadway Avenue. All right, for Yankton's crowd here, it's very uh, nice and a rescheduled Monday night uh, game. And it's a Gorman's. That brings up even more uh, people, but always a great uh, home crowd for the Yankton Bucks. Oh, Gorman, not as well traveled as I would expect for a Gorman. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, Usually that family really travels well, but again, it's a rescheduled game um, also. So, and that more more people could be showing up as we get closer to tip off. O'Gorman very passionate about their athletics as well. Your officials of the game brought to you by the South Dakota Office of the Attorney General. They are the law on the court. And as I try to reach for my program, on-air production meeting. Officials Jerry Beers, Scott Mack, and Brian Wetham, the officials of the game. We'll have your starting lineups around the corner as well as your Lewis and Clark Ford tip-off. That's all coming up. This is Yankton Bucks basketball on KYNT Plus and KYNTV.
Have a craving for wings or delicious burgers or Peebo fries? Come sink your teeth into mouth-watering burgers and wings at Checkers Sports Bar and Grill. With the menu that's a flavor frenzy, there's something for every fan. A place to catch all of the sports action and enjoy $6 cheeseburgers and fries every Monday night. Grab your friends, bring your family, and head down to Checkers. Open every day of the week to satisfy you. Checkers Sports Bar and Grill on Walnut just north of 4th Street in Yankton. The family is getting in the vehicle, going to the Yankton game. Everyone is decked out in Yankton red, but wait! Little Josh has on green. Oh no, are we playing pier? They'd better stop at JJ Benji's to write that wrong. JJ Benji's is stocked with Yankton and Mount Marty fan gear in a variety of sizes and styles. For Bucks, Gazelles, and Lancer fan gear, you can count on JJ Benji's 201 Pine Street, Yankton. They make you look good. My name is Dr. Gibson, and teaching allows me to show my compassionate spirit. I instruct a lot of students that want to go into the medical fields. If I can teach them how to be compassionate and look out for others and even help each other, they'll be better in their careers. They will be better physical therapists, better doctors, better nurses. Show your spirit at Mount Marty University and schedule a tour today at showyourspiritmmu.com. Introducing the perfect match for your Yankton High School basketball nights. Ben's Brewing downtown and KYN-TV. Whether it's a game-winning free throw, thrilling three-pointer, or the biggest rivalry matchup, Ben's will amplify your spirit and bring the video streaming excitement to you. Gather your friends and family, tune into the action, and enjoy every moment with the area's biggest Yankton sports fans. Ben's Brewing downtown is your courtside seat to buzzer-beating moments. If KYN-TV is streaming it, it's on at Ben's Brewing downtown. Downtown. Rodents want to make your home their home. Pesky invaders go in search of warm housing and food for the winter. An invasion of rodents can be costly and can contribute to disease and contamination of products. So trust the experts to keep them out. Olson Pest Technicians is family owned with over 80 years of experience. Even the toughest infestations don't stand a chance. Olson Pest Technicians, putting pests to rest since 1966. Call 800 KIL Bugs. When you need to be sure, make it Sureco. For over 40 years, Sureco has been revolutionizing the tarping industry. From the original Sherlock side to side roll tarp, to the 4500 series electric tarp, to the Pro Trap electric hoppers, Sureco has been exceeding the needs of farms and fleets across the U.S. and beyond. When only the best will do, give us a call at 1 800 474 8756 or find us online at Sherco.com. Make it Sherco. And welcome back to the Hy-Vee pregame show. Hy-Vee, let's have a smile in every aisle. Yankton uh, Bucks basketball here on KYNT and KYNT Plus. Have your starting lineups. Those are brought to you by First, Chiropr First Chiropractic Center. Is making life better one adjustment at a time. Start with the O'Gorman Knights, number three, six one senior, Ryland Satter. And at number four, six two senior, Hayden Gruss. Number five, six two junior Austin Turveen. Number twenty two, six foot senior Henry Theobald. And number thirty five, six three junior Nian Dutt. And Gorman coached by Derek Roby, longtime head coach of the Gorman Knights. For the Yankton Bucks, number two, six foot junior at guard Carson Ness. The other guard at 6'1", senior, number three, Landon Potts. At the wings, number five, 6'4", senior, Tucker Gilmore. And at number 12, six foot junior, also at the wing, Easton Nelson. And at number 31, six foot junior, Bryce Crawl. As well as Tucker Gilmore would be your center in this case with Matthew Sheldon not playing uh, tonight for the Bucks, Yankton coached by Chris Haynes, assisted by Jason Savvy, Brady Hale, and Sawyer Schmitz. Yankton in their home whites, red numbers, letters, 
and O'Gorman in their new jerseys I'm seen for the first time. They're just very dark blue, very bold blue, uh, gold collar, white numbers, and gold trim. O'Gorman moving right to left on your screen or listening in device. Yanked in left to right as Tucker Gilmore. It's Dutt meeting at half court. This is Yankton Bucks basketball, and it is in the air here at the Summit Activity Center. It is won by O'Gorman. Aiden Gruss over with the basketball, sends it over into the near corner. It's Turveen. He dribbles into the free throw line. Ball finding its way to the perimeter. Back out to Turveen. He's guarded by Easton Nelson. Fed down low to Satter. Satter turn around, puts it up with his right, can't get it, falls short. And now it is Carson Ness will bring the ball up for the Bucks. Off to the right side, he to Easton Nelson. Back over to Ness. Right in front of the Gorman bench. Sends it back out in the straightaway to Potts. Potts back over to Nelson. Nelson over to Ness up top near the right wing. Dribbling with his left. Top of the key, picked up his dribble. And now it's Gilmore, six seconds in the shot clock. He drives, head down, back to the basket. Spin move up with his right, it's good! Tucker Gilmore! Gets a scoring start at four of the Bucks. They lead 2-0, seven minutes to go in the first. O'Gorman's second possession underway. Terveen guarded by Potts in the perimeter. Out to Dutt. Showing with his left. He's been moving the high post. Kicks it out, Terveen, 4-3, right side. Back on here, ball is loose, rebounded by O'Gorman. Theobald, in an attempt to save it, sends it back into the Bucks. It was falling out of bounds, as was he. Carson S brings the ball up for Yankton. Off to the right side, hand off to Nelson. Nelson over to Crawl on the right side. Now short corner, Gilmore jumper. Missed it long, rebounded by O'Gorman. Dutt has it, moving down the right side. Kicks it to the corner, Terveen thought about a three, he'll drive the baseline, up with his left, falls off the front rim, and tip to his teammate Terveen for a jumper. Hits the front rim as well. Tucker Gilmore has a loose basketball, or does he? We're gonna have a jump ball. And possession arrow favors Yankton. But Tucker Gilmore, Mr. Do It All here early in the first. He is our key player of the game, even more so being the big guy on Yankton's team, Matthew Sheldon not playing tonight. 6.05 to go in the first. Yankton leads 2 0. Yankton Jr. Carson Ness sends it forward to Easton Nelson. Nelson uses a Gilmore screen up top. Over to Bryce Crawl. Crawl handoff to Ness. Ness for a three. Contested right side. You can count it. Carson Ness buries a three for the Bucks. Yankton leads 5 0. 5.45 to go in the first. And Dutt has it, left side, he'll launch a three for Gorman. He answers a three-pointer of his own. Five and a half minutes to go, period number one. Yankton leads by two, Carson Ness, corner to Landon Potts. Potts hasn't taken a shot yet. He'll change that, about 15 feet on the right side, misses it, and Dutt pulls it down for a Gorman. Ball being fed forward in transition, corner. Terveen drives, left open, off the glass, it's good. And Terveen ties it up at five for Gorman. We're at the five minute mark in the first as Carson Ness pushes off his defender and keeps it himself. Up top, over left side, Gilmore left wing. Hand off Potts, launches a three, left side. Misses it off two of the right, going up for it is Terveen. He'll bring the ball up himself for Gorman. And over to Dutt. Dutt aggressively trying to give him separation. Launch it to 3-4 or Gorman and missing is Theobald. Carson Ness with the rebound. And Ness moves the ball to the floor. Hand off Potts. Back to Ness. Launches a three right side. Missed it short. Gets his own rebound. Drives. Back to the basket. Up with it. Falls off the front rim again. Nice follow through with Ness as Dutt hustles down the far side of the floor for the Knights. He drives, pull up jumper, baseline, falls out the front, and Easton Nelson tips it to himself for the rebound. Landon Potts looking down the floor, moving the ball up to the right side. He's guarded by Terveen, the length. Terveen puts up the pressure. Potts trying to gain some separation. He drives, short corner, kicks it out to Gilmore. 17-foot jumper, missed badly off to the right side, and Satter gets the rebound. Coach Chris Haynes wants some kind of foul there. 
Terveen. Gets a separation, puts up a three, missed it off two of the right. Ball is pulled down by Theobald. Fresh shot clock for the Knights. Dutt. Out to Gruss. And now Dutt drives. Knocks over Tucker Gilmore, and we have a charge called on Dutt. Tucker Gilmore set his feet. That's Dutt's first, team first of the quarter. An entire line change for a Gorman. Thanks, Co Thanks Coach Roby. <laughs> have to figure this out now. Jackson Benjamin into the game, as well as John Lent, the 6'4 junior. Benjamin, a 6'3 junior. 5'9 uh, sophomore Tatum Mounty. And Gilmore up with the jumper, missed off to the left side. And with it is Mounty. Also on the floor, Caleb Terveen, 6'2 junior. And I think I got it. Oh, nope, 6'1 senior James Stewart. Tegan LaCroix in for the Bucks. He comes in for Easton Nelson. And Miles Drotsman comes in for Bryce Crawl. Two freshmen seeing a lot more playing time. Three-pointer near a side taken by Benjamin. Can't get it. Rebound by O'Gorman. We're knotted up at 5. 2.50 to go in the first. And jumper far side for a three. It was Mount. He can't get it. Another offensive rebound for O'Gorman. Now a quick drive for Terveen. Terveen gets it. And an and one opportunity. Drove from the near corner. And you get Carson Ness. His first and team first of the quarter. And first free throw is up and is good for Terveen. He converts the end one. So eight to five lead for O'Gorman. Two and a half minutes to go in the first. Yanked with the basketball. His land of pasta. Carson Ness in the high post. Now to Tegan LaCroix. Loses the basketball, or does he? It is loose, and eventually does lose it to O'Gorman. Picking it up is Terveen. Or Mounty, rather. Now it's Caleb Terveen. Back to Mounty. Down low, John Lent. Back to the basket. We have an offensive foul going on O'Gorman. Right under my view here. I just know maybe it wasn't a foul. It was a violation of sorts. If you know where I'm located, you know why I couldn't see it happen. <laughs> but it's yanked to basketball. Yanked trails by three, 158 to go in the first. Ness up top over to Miles Drossman. Now it's Landon Potts. Launches a three, left side. Missed it long, balls up, and I say it hit the shot clock. Or at least one of the basketball hoop anchors there. Now it's a Gorman basketball. Mounty. And up. Now to Stewart. Stewart over to Lent. Mount Terveen for three. Can't get it. Gilmore with the rebound. Now it's Ness. Ness brings it down the right side. Puts on the afterburners, drives, and ball is knocked out of a play. They're gonna say last touch by Ness. It's a Gorman basketball. Eight to five lead for the Knights. 120 to go in the first. Mounty over to Terveen. Terveen drives and Tuck Gilmore takes it away. Gives it over to Tegan LaCroix. Him versus two Knights. Loses control of the basketball. Tries to send it back to the Bucks, and it's a turnover instead. And now it's gross. And short corner a jumper for John Lent can't get it. And last touch by the Bucks this goes out of play. A Gorman basketball. Coming back in for the Knights is Ryland Satter. He comes in for John Lent. Also going back in, Austin Terveen. He comes in for Caleb Terveen. On the floor right now for the Bucks. Tegan LaCroix, Tucker Gilmore, Bryce Crawl, Carson S, and Miles Drotsman. 
O'Gorman with the basketball, leading the Bucks by three. Just 45 seconds to go in the first. The quickest period in basketball history. I swear this has gone by very fast. And O'Gorman steps out of play. It's Yankton basketball. Ness brings the ball to the floor. Bounce pass to Bryce Carl in the high post. Now over to Miles Drops, but it's Gilmore. Now over to Ness. Back over to Gilmore. Short corner, drives in, high post, jumper, missed off to the right. It's pulled down by O'Gorman, hustling down the floor. It's Benjamin. Benjamin handoff to Gross. Gross drives in. Out to Tervin, 4-3, no, seven seconds. Tucker Gilmore with the rebound. Carson Ness going on the left side, putting a little bit of hustle behind it. One second, contested three, up. You can count it at the buzzer. Carson Ness knots it up at eight. He has six points in the first period, both of them three-pointers. So after the first, O'Gorman eight, Yankton eight. And that is on your Edward Jones Financial Advisor, Colby Cooked a Scoreboard. To win in sports, you have to adapt your strategy as the game changes. The same is true of investments. Contact Colby Cooked, your Edward Jones Financial Advisor, Edward Jones, member SIPC. It's time for a quarter break, brought to you by Alani New Energy Drinks. Wellness should feel good and taste good, which is why Alani New Energy Drinks should be a part of your daily routine. Increase physical performance and boost focus with just 10, with just 10 calories, no sugar or gluten. Alani New Energy Drinks are a healthy way to fuel your fun. Back in one minute, Yankton Bucks basketball on KYNT Plus and KYNT TV. So I switched my insurance to State Farm and get this. I talked to an actual State Farm agent who lives in my actual town and get this. My actual agent in my actual town gave me actual help with the coverage I needed. And get this. My actual agent in my actual town who gave me actual help actually knows my name. And get this. They actually say it's called service. Call State Farm Agent Rhonda Westland at 665-4411. A new year usually brings out the best of intentions in people to get back in shape. Exercising and eating right are just the start of getting healthy. This is Dr. Mackenzie Erlinson at First Chiropractic Centers. Our doctors are trained to recommend therapeutic and rehabilitative exercise, as well as provide nutritional, dietary, and lifestyle counseling, all of which are important components in your overall health and wellness. Start your year off right with a call to First Chiropractic Centers, making life better, one adjustment at a time. Visit us at firstchiropracticcenter.com. All right, welcome back to the Summit Activities Center. We have a foul as we begin play here. It's on Carson Ness. Reach in foul. That's his second and team first of the quarter. He'll check out. Checking in for him, Easton Nelson. On the floor right now for Yankton is Gilmore, Potts, Crawl, Drossman, and Nelson. O'Gorman with the basketball. Henry Theobald. This ball over to the right side. Down to, down to Dutt. Dutt tips it back. Back to Groose. And fires it up. Groose does, and it goes out of play. Last touch by Yankton. It's a Gorman basketball. A Gorman inbounds. Into a Theobald. Theobald to Dutt. In the Yankton corner. Drives paint up with his right. And a foul going on Yankton on the drive. They are going to get Miles Drotsman. His first, team second of the quarter. Ball inbounded to Terveen. Terveen, jumper, gets it to go, about 17 feet. He has four. And the Knights lead Yankton 10 to eight, 640 to go in the second period. Landon Potts with the basketball, he'll drive. Put it up with his right hand, just kinda throws it up at the rim, gets it to go, Landon Potts. We're not back up at 10, six and a half minutes to go in the first half. 
Dutt, corner, three. Falls out the front rim. Terveen hustles after it. At the point. Nice defense by Landon Potts. Temporarily pokes it away. Enough so for Gorman to reset their offense. Dutt to Terveen. Drives the paint. Puts it up. Falls out the back. Iron rebounded by Bryce Crawl. Now it's Landon Potts. Drives fade away. 14 foot jumper gets it to go. Landon Potts. He's getting riled up, and the Yankton bench is alive. Leading 12 to 10, 5.45 to go in the second period. Dutt feeds it to the corner. Three for Gorman. Gross. Gross found the corner, found the bottom of the net. Gorman back on top by one, 13 to 12, five and a half minutes to go in the first half. It's Drotsman. Down to crawl. Back to crawl here. Cross court pass to Potts. Potts for three. Missed it long. Rebounded by Terveen. Terveen looking forward to Dutt. No, he'll keep it himself. Hard drive. Runs over Miles Drossman. A charge going on O'Gorman. Even if Drossman's feet weren't completely as set, that was a completely <laughs> intentional. He wanted to run him over to get to the basketball, or to get to the hoop, rather. But I can see it come from both sides. The Terveen called for his first and team first of the quarter. Sometimes an official just sees a player get launched back three feet. That's all they see. And now it's Potts over to Gilmore. He controls by one. Hand off to Easton Nelson. Nelson dribbling with his left high post. Back out to Crawl. Crawl in the corner, drives the baseline. Steps through, and will draw a foul. And they're going to get Terveen, his second and team second of the quarter. Terveen will check out as well as Dutt. Coming in is Tate Mani. As Tucker Gilmore sends up a uh, jumper. Also, Jackson Benjamin back into the game. Gorman basketball leading Yankton by one. Four and a half minutes to go in the second period. Ball fed down low. Off the glass for Ryland Satter. It's good. Bullied his way in the paint. Gorman's lead extends to three. It's a 15 12 lead. 4.15 to go in the first half as Bryce Crawl dribbles on the perimeter. Gives it out to Landon Potts. Potts is mugged there. Over to the left side. Nelson launches a three. Front rim, no. And rebounded by Mounty. Ball move forward. Caleb Terveen drives low post. Hand off to Satter. Issa Nelson hustles after the basketball. Almost has a steal. But now Yankton's one defender short. Three-pointer is launched on the right side. It's Hayden Gross for it. His second three-pointer in as many minutes. And O'Gorman leads Yankton 18-12. to 3.48 to go in the second period. Timeout on the floor. Timeouts are brought to you by Hedro, one of Yankton's biggest and best employers. When it's time for a new job, maybe a new career direction, visit jobs.hedro.com. Back in 30 seconds, Yankton Bucks basketball on KYNT Plus and KYNT TV. A new year usually brings out the best of intentions in people to get back in shape. Exercising and eating right are just the start of getting healthy. This is Dr. Mackenzie Erlinson at First Chiropractic Centers. Our doctors are trained to recommend therapeutic and rehabilitative exercise, as well as provide nutritional, dietary, and lifestyle counseling, all of which are important components in your overall health and wellness. Start your year off right with a call to First Chiropractic Centers. Making life better, one adjustment at a time. Visit us at firstchiropracticcenter.com. Back to the action, Landon Potts with the basketball, drives the paint in between like five defenders and throws it up, can't get it to go. And it is Hayden Gross to bring the ball down the floor for O'Gorman. O'Gorman leads Yankton by six, 18 to 12. Gross, four, three, hits the front rim, no. Gilmore with the rebound, gives it off to Potts. Potts dribbles off to the right side, quick crossover. 
Overhead pass to the right side, Tegan LaCroix, the freshman. Back up top to Nelson. Miscommunication, but saved by Potts. LaCroix up top, 14 seconds on the shot clock. Left side, Miles Drotsman. Dribbling with his right, drives in, kicks it back out to LaCroix. Dribbling with his left. And able to get around his defender, puts it up and gets it to go. Tegan LaCroix with the head on his shoulders. It's also on a swivel. Tegan LaCroix. Got through some traffic, ripped the ball away, and just realized he had an open shot. And we have a foul. It's going to go on Tucker Gilmore. You know, it's a drive from uh, Ryland Satter, so he'll go to the line for two. First one's up, and he misses. Carson S back into the game. He comes in for Nelson as Satter sends it up and gets his second one to go. Couple substitutions for O'Gorman. It's Gilmore, LaCroix, Potts, Ness, and Drotsman. Two and a half minutes to go in the first half. It's Potts on the left side. On top to Drotsman. Over to the left, it's Ness. Finds Potts, far corner, launches a three. You can count it. Landon Potts, his first three-pointer of the game, brings Yankton back within two, 2.07 to go in the first half. Four, O'Gormitz, Mounty sends it back up to Gross. And now it's Benjamin. Back to Gross, up top, dribbles with his right. Thought about a pull-up jumper, instead kicks it out to Mounty. 4-3, it's good. And we have a foul. And we have a technical foul going on Tate Mounty. His first and team third of the quarter, but Landon Potts shooting the technical free throws. And Potts misses his first. Obviously he said something that officials didn't appreciate. He said something to the Yankton bench, I believe. Potts misses his second as well. Potts coming into this game 70% at the line. Twenty-two seventeen, the lead for Yankton. One forty-seven to go in the second period. Landon Potts, over to Gilmore. And Ness drives in, he draws a foul. And on the foul is uh, Mason Clark. Wait, what? Oh yeah, Mason Clark, his first. And team fourth of the quarter. Well, Gorman leads the to 22-17. 134 to go in the second period. Yankton basketball as Landon Potts will inbound in front of the stu Yankton student section. Behind Yankton's glass. Four players spread on the inbounds to Gilmore. Now over to Miles Drossman. Down low, Ness kicks it to the corner. LaCroix driving in, back out to Drossman. He cup cuts in, hop step, and they're going to call that a travel. It's a Gorman basketball. Bring the ball down, Mason Clark. Now to Dutt, Dutt drives in. And he's fouled in his attempt. Dutt going to line for two. Landon Potts called for the foul. 
his first and team fourth of the quarter. Dutt's first attempt is up and misses. And Dutt's second up and a O'Gorman rebound. And up 4-3, it is good. I believe it was Theobald. Looking down at my stat sheet. They haven't announced it yet, but it's Gorman 25-17 lead. Landon Potts, spin move in the paint. Reverse layup, kind of throws it up at the rim. Took an awkward angle. A lot of momentum falling off the other side. So Gorman basketball. Clark, 4-3, front rim, no. Rebounded by Hayden Gross. Fed down low. Kicked out, Theobald. Another three point up and can't get that one. Another O'Gorman rebound. Yanked it being outworked on the glass. No shot clock needed. O'Gorman can have the last shot. Ten seconds. And Clark draws a foul on Yankton. They're going to get Tegan LaCroix, his first and team fifth. So bonus shots coming up with just nine seconds left in the first half. And they're coming up for Mason Clark. Mason Clark hits his first. And misses his second. Three seconds. Gilmore, jumper, 19 feet, gets it to go at the buzzer. A long two-point jumper for Tucker Gilmore. Will send Yankton to the locker room, trailing O'Gorman 26 to 19. That is on your Edward Jones financial advisor, Colby Cook, to scoreboard. To win in sports, you have to adapt your strategy as the game changes. The same is true of investments. Colby Cook, to your Edward Jones financial advisor, can review your game plan. Call 605-665-4567 today. Edward Jones, member SIPC. And we'll take a break, come back, and we have your Avera halftime show. Avera, moving hell forward. This is Yankton Bucks basketball on KYNT Plus and KYNT TV. Larry's is more than heating and cooling. This is Miles. Let's start with fireplaces. Our showroom in Yankton is the largest and has many different styles of gas fireplaces. Next is duct cleaning. You'll be amazed at how much dust and dirt we pull out of your ducts. That leads into indoor air quality. With high-tech UV lighting, your indoor air will be the cleanest it can be. Or with a humidifier, we can control your entire home's humidity. While we're the best around for heating and cooling, we're pretty great at some other things too. Larry's Heating and Cooling, Yankton and Vermilion. Wellness should feel good and taste good. That's why Alani New offers a range of delicious energy drinks to support your goals while bringing bright, bold flavors to your daily routine. Whether you want to hit your last rep, beat the competition, or simply balance your hormones, do it all with an Alani New energy drink in hand. Promising to increase physical performance and boost focus with just 10 calories and no sugar or gluten. Alani New Energy Drinks are a healthy way to fuel your fun. Stock up today. I'm Colby Cookta, one of your Yankton Edward Jones financial advisors. We're all about financial investments, but we also value the investments of time, patience, and encouragement our young athletes receive from their coaches, teachers, and mentors. That's why I'm a proud sponsor of the Yankton Bucks and Gazelles on KYNT. Call 605-665-4567 or visit edwardjones.com for all your investment needs. I'm Colby Cookta, financial advisor Edward Jones Yankton, member SIPC. Maybe your months past due for a dental cleaning and checkup or have had a nagging toothache for weeks but haven't made an appointment. If you're putting off going to the dentist because you don't have dental insurance and are worried about costs, worry no more. Elwood Family Dental Care has a solution for you. Sign up for the new dental savings program and enjoy discounts on dental services including cleanings, x-rays, fillings, crowns, and TMJ pain. 
take the first step towards better oral health by contacting Elwood Family Dental Care and enrolling in the Dental Savings Program. The Interstate Series presented by First Interstate Bank returns to Vermilion. The South Dakota Coyote women's basketball team takes on South Dakota State Saturday, February 3rd at 6 p.m. in the Sanford Coyote Sports Center. Be there for the next chapter of the state's biggest rivalry. Tickets are available now at goyotes.com. We are South Dakota. Hey Yankton, are you looking to start the new year off with a bang? Well, we have that bang for you. He's your maintenance. We are currently hiring for maintenance mechanics and PLC technicians. No day is like the next at Hijo Maintenance. We offer day one benefits, monthly profit sharing, and a variety of shifts. Contact me, Evie, today at jobs.hijo.com. Search Yankton. That's jobs.hijo.com. Search Yankton, where we are alone. Medicare coverage is not a one-size-fits-all coverage. Do you like to travel? Are you wanting to spend your winters down south or just spend some time with your grandkids? Make sure you choose a plan that fits your needs and will travel with you. Visit Julie at Missouri River Associates to review your upcoming Medicare or your current needs. That's Julie at Missouri River Associates, 665-6885. Attention homeowners, if you've been on the fence about selling, I'd love the opportunity to sit and visit with you. With low inventory, now would be a good time to call me, Deb Speck at Vision Real Estate. I'll provide you with a free market analysis and a no pressure approach. Call me at 605-664-5555 to find out if now is the right time to make a move. And welcome to the Avera Halftime Show. Avera moving health forward. And we just had a uh, challenge um, at uh, on the court. And it was pretty entertaining, that is for sure. <laughs> Drew Reichen actually made an appearance um, as well. I am in the Fairfield Inn and Suites broadcast booth. Hot breakfast, large family rooms in a great location. We found at Fairfield Inn and Suites in Yankton. 2607 Broadway Avenue or by calling 605-653-2250. Your first half stats recap brought to you by Mayor Signs. If it's time to review the look of your business signage, let Mayor Signs help. They offer all types of signs, including lit, non-lit, digital, and much more. Contact Mayor Signs today on 4th and Broadway in Yankton. For O'Gorman, it's uh, Ryland Satter with three points, Hayden Gross with six Austin Terveen with four, Mason Clark with one, Henry Theobald with three, Caleb Terveen with three, Tate Monty with three, and Nian Dutt with three. For Yankton, it is Carson Ness with six, Landon Potts with seven, Tucker Gilmore with six, and Tegan LaCroix with two. It's your first half stat recap. Vision of Victory brought to you by Vision Care Associates, where the health of your eyes comes first. Located at 2701 Foxrun Parkway in Yankton. Yankton needs to get on those boards, and they've been out-rebounded the entire first half, and if they can be more aggressive, find those angles. They've been shooting it and see if uh, things can change for them in the second half. This is Yankton Bucks basketball on KYNT Plus and KYNT TV, the Avera Halftime Show. We'll take a break, come back, and continue here from the Summit Activity Center. I'm Bryce Ladwig. Owning your own home or business is more than walls, floors, and a roof. It's what's inside that matters most. Protect your assets, your cherished keepsakes, and your family with a home security system professionally installed by Yankton Computer and Network Services. They have the devices and expert technicians to help you protect what matters most. Call Yankton Computer and Network Services, 664-2222, or stop at 1901 Broadway. Traveling to Yankton for business or pleasure? Then book your stay at Yankton's two best hotels, the Fairfield Inn and Suites and Holland Inn Express. Both are conveniently located to everything in Yankton. Both offer complimentary hot breakfasts and meeting rooms for business travelers. And if you want a great rate and still be able to change your reservation without a hassle, call either hotel direct. The Fairfield and Holiday Inn Express, two great hotel choices when visiting or arranging rooms for guests to Yankton. Get it cleaned. 
with Buell's. Dress shirts, suits, dresses, coats. At Buell's, they specialize in dry cleaning and pressing. You can pick it up or even have it delivered. Got a tough stain you're worried about getting out? Leave it to Buell's. They're experts in getting out those nasty stains. Do you wash your own comforter? If you really want it clean, let Buell's do it. Their large size washers are perfect for comforters. If you need it clean, take it to Buell's. 444 West 3rd, Yankton. Boston Shoes to Boots is proud to support Yankton High School Athletics. Boston Shoes to Boots is your headquarters for quality and comfortable shoes for the whole family. From athletics and work boots to sandals and dress, we have you covered by our popular brands like Brooks, New Balance, Birkenstock, Red Wing, Keen, and so many more. Shop our location downtown at 313 Cedar Street or visit us online at bostonshoestoboots.com. Boston Shoes to Boots, your footwear experts since 1915. All right, welcome back to your very halftime show, Yank to Bucks Basketball, KYNT and KYNTV. Being joined by a special guest, Rumbling Rugby Riken. All right, Rugby, thanks for joining us, first of all. Have you been up in this nest before? Oh, I haven't before. It's a pretty, pretty yeah. good view up here. There you go. Put that mic a little closer to your mouth there. Sorry. All right, so I want to talk to you about a couple things, first of all. I heard you had a big night over the Lancers just a while ago. Tough loss, but uh, big night for you on the court. Talk about that a little bit. Yeah, it, wasn't, it was a pretty good game tonight. We uh, got down a little bit early, but... Uh, we made a good comeback in the second half. It was an entertaining game, I think, to watch. So uh, just taking strides as a team we're doing and uh, trying to get better every day, and it, hopefully it's coming along. Yeah, absolutely. I see uh, you, Drew, Mac here quite often, so I'm going to start getting you guys to come up here and talk to me during halftime. So. <laughs> yeah. I, I opened Pandora's box. Hey, do you remember this moment at all? Let's get strapped in for the last eight seconds of <laughs> overtime. We are knotted up at 52 <laughs> apiece. Ian Gorman has the basketball. It'll be Danny Brink to inbound in front of his own bench. Yankton does have two timeouts left, so if they get a stop, they can call a timeout. Danny Brink into Mooney. Mooney now over to Hag. Five seconds, four seconds. It's Eng. Eng. And Rugby gets the steal, sends it up. It's good! <laughs> Rumbling Rugby hits a half court shot. Do you remember that at all? Uh, yeah, I think I'll remember that for a while, too. Uh, yeah, that was uh, pretty electric. I, th I figured it's the O'Gorman game, and I saw you. I said, I want to go talk to rugby. Uh, yeah, I think uh, this morning I was scrolling through YouTube, and it popped up on my feed. And I, was, I had to watch it a couple times through. It's always fun to see that. No, that's awesome. Hey, we'll get more time next time to talk, but I appreciate you coming up. I just wanted to talk about uh, what you've been up to, obviously, uh, Lancer basketball, uh, football, obviously, earlier in the fall. You're keeping yourself very busy, still supporting Yankton Athletics. You'd love to see it. Yeah, thank you for having me. Appreciate it. All right, that was a rumbling rugby at Reich, and thanks to him for uh, joining us. Always appreciate his time. And we're back to action here at the Summit Activity Center. As the Yankton Bucks are trailing. So I try to get everything situated on my end. <laughs> Unexpected guest, but I'm glad to have him on. That's a uh, champion Yankton and Buck. Rugby Riken. All right, rejoin the action. Now Carson Ness drives the hoop. He can't lay it in. And we do have a foul. Or no foul, this is a violation. I'm gathering my bearings here. All right, inbound to Tucker Gilmore. Yanked to moving right to left on your screen or listening device now as we enter the third quarter. Ness in the paint, sends up to the rim, can't quite get it. Is rebounded by O'Gorman. And it is Austin Turvine trying to hustle after that basketball. Can't get there in time. Yankton will inbound. It's Carson Ness to inbound at the scores table. 7.35 to go in the third. And Tucker Gilmore back to the basket. Sends it up with his right. Falls off the front rim. Can't get it. And Terveen has the basketball for O'Gorman. Yankton trailing by 7.26-19. Corner. Gross for three. Drains it. His third three of the game. And we do have a Gorman Knight down as uh, Yankton Athletic Trainer Trevor Woods will attend to him. 29-19 the score. Gorman with the lead. 7-19 to go in the third. And we'll go ahead and step aside. This is Yankton Bucks basketball on KYNT and KYNTV. 
Yankton is continuing to thrive. I'm Nancy Winandi from Yankton Thrive. I am thrilled to announce we received a $1.26 million ARPA grant from South Dakota Housing to support infrastructure for the new 126 apartment units being built along Whiting Drive. The Yes campaign focuses on workforce and housing, and this development meets the campaign mission to create additional housing options in Yankton. To know all things Yankton, go to Thrive's website, yanktonsd.com. All right, welcome back to the Summit Activity Center. This is Yankton Bucks Basketball on KYNT and KYNT TV. I want to thank a few of our sportscaster partners. Without this, without them, this broadcast would not be possible, and that includes Yankton Computer Network Services. For your complete personal and business computer solutions, rely on Yankton Computer Network Services. Wishing the best of luck to Yankton Athletics this season. And the Fox Stop. For all your daily convenience and fuel needs, make a stop at the Fox Stop. And Buell's Cleaners. For rugs, uniforms, linens, and other cleaning services, go to Buell's in downtown Yankton. And Explorers Credit Union. Watch the Coaches Show Saturday mornings. Sponsored by Explorers Credit Union. Explorers Credit Union is here to help with the vision of financial empowerment for everyone. Discover the difference at ExplorersCU.com. As Tervine has helped off the uh, floor and it will be tended to. Uh, he was the Agorman Knight that was down. And we'll return to action here as Bryce Crawl, Tucker Gilmore, Easton Nelson, Landon Potts, and Carson S on the floor for Yankton. It's Caleb Terveen, uh, Dutt, Gross, and Satter on the floor for Agorman, as well as Theobald. Agorman with the steal, now Dutt up top. Dutt dribbles with his right. To the corner, to Gross. Now Caleb Trevine drives up with his right, falls out the front rim. Bryce Crawl with the rebound. Over to Landon Potts. Ness for three, left open, left side. Back iron, no. Dutt with a tough rebound for O'Gorman. It was over to Gross. He'll bring the ball down the floor. Guarded by Easton Nelson. Crossover now to his left to Dutt. Dutt drives in. Steps into the paint, puts it up with his right, falls off the right side. Ball's loose, and Bryce Crawl again with it. As we have a foul now going on O'Gorman. Nice hustle by Bryce Crawl. Keep that up. You'll be our top-notch hustler of the game. Six twenty-three to go in the third. 29-19 lead for a Gorman. That foul went on Hayden Gross. That's his first and team first of the quarter. And now it's Landon Potts off to the left side. Over to Tucker Gilmore. Gilmore off to Easton Nelson. Back over to Gilmore. High post. Landon Potts contested three up with it. Back iron no. Bryce Crawl again tips it. Easton Nelson almost was able to get to it. And now it's Gross hustling down the right side. To Clark. Now Caleb Tervine. Tervine drives in. And Tervine, 4 3 in front of his own bench. It's good. And timeout is taken. Timeout is brought to you by Hedro, one of Yankton's biggest and best employers. When it's time for a new job, maybe a new career direction, visit jobs at hedro.com. Back in. 30 seconds. This is Yankton Bucks basketball on KYNT and KYN TV. Old Man Winter is here, and you don't want your car left out in the cold because of a broken garage door. Routine service of your doors and openers could prevent some future problems, but unpredictable problems could put your door out of commission. When unforeseen problems arise, the professionals at Upper Midwest Garage Door are prepared to get your door going again. Call today for routine service or when a problem arises. Find more at UppermidwestGarageDoor.com, your authorized Clopay dealer. And welcome back to the action here. It's Yankton Bucks basketball on KYNT and KYNTV here at the Summit Activity Center. O'Gorman extending their lead over Yankton 32 to 19, 541 to go in the third. As the timeout huddle breaks up for Yankton, it's Gilmore, Potts, LaCroix, Drossman, Ness on the floor. 
Oh, and LaCroix, if I didn't say that. I think I did. As Lana Potts brings the ball down for Yankton. The Drotsman, over to Gilmore. Now LaCroix in the wing in front of his own bench. Potts for three. Up top. Front rim, no. Yankton can't tip it. Is now Dutt has it in transition. Kicks it to the corner to Caleb Turveen. And ball's deflected into the hands of Carson Ness. Ness, long two. Back iron hits the shot clock, and it is a Gorman basketball. Caleb Terveen over to Dutt now. Under five minutes to go in the third. Dutt drives, is called for a charge. And that is his first team second of the quarter. And now Potts. Over to the near side, to Ness, now it's Gilmore. Gilmore turns around. He'll be called for a, a charge. And it's his first and team first of the quarter. 4.43 to go in the third. Again, your score, 32-19, O'Gorman. LaCroix, Drossman, and Gilmore, and Ness, and Potts on the floor for Yankton. Tate and Mounty walks about the floor. Gives it off to Gross. And a reach-in foul. That's going to go on Gross. His second, team third of the quarter. Now it's Ness over to Potts. Potts dribbling up top. Backdoor pass to Gilmore. Gilmore, quick jumper. Falls a little far. And now it's Gross. Sending it forward. It's over to Mounty. Mounty now back over to Gross up top, guarded by Ness. He moves it to the left side. It's over to Benjamin. Back to Mounty. Kicks it. And Satter for a long two on the baseline. It's good. He has five tonight. And Gorman now leads 34 19. Miles Drotsman drives in. It's Gilmore. Potts for three. You can't count it off the right wing. Landon Potts gets Yankton back on the board. First points of the second half for the Bucks. Ball knocked out of play. Remains a Gorman basketball. Caleb Trevine. Long two-point jumper on the baseline for Satter. Gets that one to go as well. Same spot as last time. Tucker Gilmore over to Ness. Ness drives, sends it up with his right back iron. No. Rebounded by O'Gorman. It's Benjamin going length of the floor. In transition, Caleb Trevine lays it in. 38-22. Timeout on the floor. Timeout is brought to you by Hedro, one of Yankton's biggest and best employers. When it's time for a new job, maybe a new career direction, visit jobs.hedro.com. Back in 30 seconds, Yankton Bucks basketball on KYNT and KYNTV. Getting the kids to practice on time. Remembering if it's your day to bring snacks. Making it to the game with a clean jersey. Why are simple things sometimes so complicated? Thankfully, with auto owners, insurance doesn't have to be one of them. Auto owners works with independent agents who answer when you call, so you can worry about more important things, like whether your kid is going to run toward first or third base. That's simple human sense. Don't gamble. Insure with MTNRC Smith Insurance in Yankton, your independent agent for home, business, auto, life, and bonds. MTRCSmithInsurance.com. Oh. 
Landon Potts bringing the ball up for Yankton. He gives it to Tegan LaCroix. Now to Easton Nelson. Nelson over to Miles Drops, and he drives in at the paint. It is blocked in his route to the basket and remains Yankton basketball as it's knocked out of play. Into Gilmore. Now over to Potts. Potts for three, right side. You can count it. Landon Potts, his third three of the game, makes it 38 25 of Gorman. Nice trying to answer. They've been answering all night. Terveen does. Kilo Terveen hits a three for a Gorman up top. His second of the game. He has 11 points tonight. O'Gorman leaves 41 25, 220 to go in the third. Easton Nelson. His pass to the corner. His communication sails into the second row of the stands. It was a hard pass, though, too. May have almost taken up Beck Reichen on the, on the bench. <laughs> on the floor right now for Yankton. LaCroix, Drotsman, Gilmore, Potts, and Easton. Easton Nelson, rather. Caleb Terveen for three, gets rid of his man, sends it up to the right side, misses. Rebound, no, LaCroix with the steal. LaCroix feeds it forward to Potts. Potts versus center, and up at the rim, gets the foul, does not get the shot, but Potts going to line for two. So far in this game, Landon Potts 0 for two at the line. Trying to change that right here. They're gonna get Ryland Satter with the foul. That's gonna be his first and team fourth. Potts' first shot is up, and he misses that one. 0 for 3 tonight. Very rare. Bryce Crawl comes in for Easton Nelson. And it's spot setting up his second free throw. And gets that one to go. 41-26 the score of Gorman. Leading the Bucks, 145 to go in the third. And it's Dutt. Dutt now. At the free throw line. And driving lane it in is Hayden Gross gets it to go. His first non-three-point shot of the game. He has 11 points. Pots over to Gilmore, high post. Over to LaCroix in the near corner. Back over to Crawl. Now it's Potts. He drives the end line, kicks it to the corner. LaCroix, 4-3. Missed it short, and Landon Potts with the offensive rebound. Potts a deep three up top. Hits the front rim, no. And Dutt with the defensive rebound. Hustles length of the floor. Drives into the paint, hop step, kicks it to the corner. And now with it is Lent. Lent feeds it out to the perimeter, up with it. Thea ball for three, can't get it. Offensive rebound for a Gorman. Now Lent drives the paint up with his right, gets the foul, and he'll be going to the line for two. Or will he, or is it gonna be non-shooting? Non-shooting, he's gonna go on Bryce Crawl. That's his first team at second. Carson Ness comes in for Landon Potts. And a gross, gross 4-3, can't get it to go. And we have a whistle. So, Dute with the uh, foul, that's his th third, but team fifth of the quarter. And his Bryce Crawl to shoot two. Missed it short in his first attempt.
Second attempt up for Crawl is good. No shot clock needed here. 20 seconds to go in the third. Hayden Gross works the ball to the floor. And LaCroix with the steal. LaCroix and Ness. Oh, and LaCroix's pass to Ness off the foot of the Gorman. And Knight goes out of play. Right decision just couldn't quite get the pass there in time. It's yanked a basketball behind their own glass. 5.1 seconds to go in the third. On the floor, Crawl, LaCroix, Drotsman, Gilmore, and Ness. And the inbound. To Crawl, four seconds. To Ness, 4-3. Missed it off the front rim, and that will end the third. 43-27, to O'Gorman with the lead. That is on your Edward Jones financial advisor, Colby Cook, to scoreboard. To win in sports, you have to adapt your strategy as the game changes. The same is true of investments. Colby Cook, your Edward Jones financial advisor, can review your game plan. Call 605-665-4567 today. Edward Jones, member SIPC. It's time for a quarter break. Brought to you by Alani New Energy Drinks. Wellness should feel good and taste good, which is why Alani New Energy Drinks should be a part of your daily routine. Increase physical performance and boost focus with just 10 with just 10 calories, no sugar or gluten. Alani New Energy Drinks are a healthy way to fuel your fun. Back in one minute, Yankton Bucks basketball on KYNT and KYNT TV. As times change, technology changes. Don't be left behind by your contact lenses. Vision Care Associates now offers infused multifocal contact lenses, specialized lenses that can provide you with clear vision at multiple distances without switching between glasses and contacts. Don't let glasses slow you down any longer. Call us today to schedule an appointment to try infused multifocal contact lenses. Vision Care Associates, where the health of feel awful. Stuffy nose, then runny nose. Sniffles too. You don't know what to take to make yourself feel better. At Yankton Rexall, when you feel under the weather, we want to help. But there are a lot of over-the-counter choices. Some may even interfere with the daily medications you're taking. The Yankton Rexall staff is there to help you make the best choice for your health. Yankton Rexall, your hometown pharmacy since 1923. You can count it as we return to action. Carson Ness buries a three on the right wing. Brings Yankton back within 15, 45, 30 the score. Gorman on top, it's Dute up top. Dribbles, dribbles it with his right, now back out to Satter. And it's Terveen for a three far side. Can't get to go, ball knocked out of play. Last touch by Gorman, it's Yankton basketball. Seven minutes to go in the fourth. And now Drotsman. Drotsman back over to Ness. So we have a whistle right under me here in the, in the media nest. Caleb Trevine picks up the foul. That's his first and team first of the quarter. LaCroix gets the inbound. Now it's Ness. Ness thought about a three, drives in instead, kicks it out. LaCroix, 4 3. Can't get it to go. It was actually Miles Drossman, rather. Couldn't get it to go. Nice looking shot, however, and it's Duke. Duke now drives in. Theobald for a three. Front rim, no. Bryce Crawl, another tough rebound. Ness sends it forward to Drossman. Drossman just tackled hard unintentionally by Hayden Gross, a 6'2 senior. And Gross going after that basketball. Knocked over Drossman pretty hard in front of the Yankton bench. And there was a lot of my bads and a lot of trying to help each other. Very unintentional, but a very tough hit as Gross picks up his third and team second. Drossman seems to be just fine. Ness now into Drossman. 
Now to Ness. Ness 4-3, right side, front rim, no. Tucker Gilmore, tough offensive rebound. He's under the glass, puts it up. He's fouled, he's going to the line for two. Tucker Gilmore entering the season 61% at the line. His first attempts of this game. And that foul goes on Ryland Satter. That's his second and team third as Gilmore misses his first. Landon Potts checks in. He checks in for Miles Drotsman. On the floor right now, it's LaCroix, Ness, Gilmore, Bryce Crawl, and Potts. And Gilmore's second is up, and he gets that one to go. 6.13 to go in the fourth. 45-31 lead for O'Gorman. And we have an offensive off-ball foul going on O'Gorman as he yanked a basketball. And that foul going on Mani. That's his second team four. Timeout on the floor. Timeout is brought to you by Hedro and Yankton, one of Yankton's biggest and best employers. When it's time for a new job, maybe a new career direction, visit jobs.hedro.com. Back in 30 seconds, Yankton Bucks basketball on KYNT and KYNTV. Ground beef is only $2.99 a pound at Hy-Vee. That's not a sale price. That's the price with the Hy-Vee Perks membership. And $2.99 a pound is not just the price today or this week, it's the Perks price every day. With the Hy-Vee Perks membership, you can save on hundreds of products store-wide every time you shop and count on Perks prices to stay the same. So if you want to pay less for ground beef every day, sign up for Hy-Vee Perks. It's free and easy. Some restrictions apply. Six oh seven to go in the fourth. O'Gorman leads Yankton forty-five to thirty-one. Thank you for joining us here on KYN TV. If you enjoy the product and may want to become involved, KYN TV is always looking for part-time paid help behind the scenes. Uh, no experience is necessary. Flexible scheduling and the opportunity to watch games from a whole new perspective. Email me at Bryce at KYNT1450.com to learn more about any opportunities. No matter your age, gender, or sports knowledge, I'd love to talk to you about y joining Yankton's home stream KYN TV. Yeah, send me an email. 5.50 to go in the fourth. Yankton with the basketball. Bryce Crawl up top. Landon Potts. And over to Carson Ness. Tucker Gilmore. Back over to Potts, 4-3, up top, front rim, no. Tucker Gilmore with the rebound. Puts it back up, off the glass, and one opportunity coming up for Tucker Gilmore. He finished at the rim. And they're gonna get Rylan Satter on the foul. That's his third and team fifth. It'd be bonus anyway, but it's a shooting foul. And so Tucker at Gilmore, as we have for substitutions. Sends it up. And is able to convert the and one. Tucker Gilmore. Miles Drotsman comes in for Bryce Crawl. 5.38 to go in the fourth. Yankton trails by 11. The Gorman working the ball up the floor. Yankton implements the full court press now. To Mounty. Mounty up top, it's Benjamin. Benjamin over to the left side. Theobald puts up a runner with his right, can't get it to go and Benjamin attempts to save, sends it right back into Yankton hands. This Landon Potts up top. Over to Ness. Ness thought about a three. Back over to Potts. Over to Drossman, right side. Back to Ness in traffic. Very dangerous pass. Dribbles with his right into the paint. Puts it up. Off the glass. Can't quite get it to go. And it is. Gross with the rebound. Has it for a Gorman. Hands it off to Mountie. Now Benjamin. Behind the back. Drives. Ball's loose, taken away by Carson Ness. Another buck tipped it though. And Ness is tripped up from behind. He'll draw a foul. It's 
Peyton Mooney with the his third and team six now, I believe. But Yankton's in bonus, so Carson Ness to shoot two at the line. His first free throw attempts of the game. Sends up his first, misses it short. Coming into this game, Carson Ness, 64% at the line. It's been a struggle for him this year. A much better free throw shooter than that percentage would indicate. Just kind of fell out of a rhythm at the line so far this year. Carson Ness buries a second, however. A 10-point lead for a Gorman. Yankee trying to change that. Teague LaCroix with the steal. He's up to land in Potts. I think Ness is the one that tipped it initially. Potts back over to Ness, right side. Now to Gilmore, mid paint. Potts, corner three, stepped out of bounds. It's Yankton basketball. Four eighteen to go in the fourth. Inbound to Mounty. Mounty over to Dute. Dute now corner. Dute four three up top. It's good. He has six points tonight. 48-35 lead for a Gorman. LaCroix to the corner to Ness. Ness 4-3, back iron, no. Miles drops it with the rebound. He puts the ball on the floor. Pump fake under it. He loses the basketball, tries to strip it away, finds Potts on the perimeter. Potts drives in. Scoops it up with his left, can't get it to go. And a Gorman with the basketball. 3.35 to go into the fourth. It's Mounty. Mounty now. On the top to Gross. And Dude has it, drives in, kicks it, and we have a foul. It's going to go against Yankton. We're going to get Tucker Gilmore. That's Gilmore's third team first of the quarter. And now Duke drives back to the basket. Over to Saturn. Saturn able to drain a long two. 15 point lead for a Gorman, 50 to 35, 308 to go in the fourth. Potts over to Gilmore. No, Potts sends it up for a three. You can count it off the right wing. Four three pointers tonight. 12 point lead for a Gorman over Yankton, 245 to go in the final quarter. Caleb Turvine. Kicks it off to Satter. 12 foot jumper on the baseline is good. And now Ness. Hustles down the floor. Dribbles off with his left. Hard pass to the corner. Potts. 4 3. Missed it short. Does he have his own rebound? Yes, he does. Low block off the glass. It's good. Landon Potts. Timeout taken by Yankton. We'll step aside as well. Yankton trailing 52 to 40 here. 2.22 to go in the fourth. Timeout's brought to you by Hedro in Yankton, one of Yankton's biggest and best employers. When it's time for a new job, maybe a new career direction, visit jobs.hedro.com. Back in one minute, Yankton Bucks basketball on KYNT and KYNTV. The cold winter weather has finally arrived, and if your furnace is not able to keep your home warm this season, it's time to call Kaiser Heating and Cooling. We've been serving the Yankton area for over 76 years, and our experienced technicians can service your existing system or install a new one to fit your needs. Don't wait until your furnace fails in the middle of the night or while you're out of town. Call today to ask about our current deals and promotions. Be the wiser and go with Kaiser. Call Kaiser Heating and Cooling today. You may have heard us say when you're shopping online, check things out before checkout. One in four people who reported losing money to fraud since 2021 said it started on social media. 
If you follow your favorite businesses on social media to get updates about upcoming events and promotions, you're not the only one. Scammers are watching too, and they may hijack legit businesses, giveaways, and promotions to try to get your personal and financial information. Contact the South Dakota Attorney General's Office of Consumer Protection at 800-300-1986. Mounty gets the inbound for a Gorman. Dude has it. Paint. Nice transition over to Satter. Gets it to go. Carson Ness, far side of the floor. Thought about a step back three. Back to the basket. Out to Drotsman. Drotsman now. Spin move. Mid post. Called for a travel. It's a Gorman basketball. 157 to go in the fourth. A Gorman leads Yankton 54 to 40. Inbounded to Tervine. And on the left side, Gross. Back over to Dute. Dute drives. He can't get it to go. It's Tucker Gilmore with the rebound, gives it out to Potts. Potts over to Gilmore. Gilmore drives into the paint, up with it, off his right, and falls out the front rim. Nice look, though, at the rim for Gilmore. Now Caleb Tervine with it on the right side, dribbles in with his left, kicks it out short corner to Satter. Back out to Tervine, thought about a three. Gets two Yankton Bucks to jump down to Satter. It's off the glass, and it is good. Ryland Satter. 15 points for Satter tonight, and we have... We have an official stoppage for to allow substitutions. On the floor right now for Yankton. Number 24, 6'1", Junior, Kale Gary. Number 22, 5'10", Junior, Mac Grotenheis. Number 25, 5'11", Sophomore, Tate Bessie. Miles Drossman still on the floor, as well as number 56, 5", Sophomore, Jake Bivens. And actually, Drossman steps off the floor now. So Bivens, Grotenheis, Gary, and Bestie. <laughs> we are missing a player. I was wondering why there isn't five out there. One to five to go in the fourth. Bestie over to Drossman. Down to Bivens. Bivens back to the basket. Being guarded by O'Gorman's substitutions. Gary, left wing. Up top to Drossman. Julian with his right, back to the basket. Lose control of the basketball. Bivens has it. Bivens turn around. Post move off the back iron. Can't get it. 34 seconds. With it is Mason Clark. Clark over to the left side. Caleb Tervine. Now back up top, James Stewart. Tervine kicks it back to the corner. Launching a three for O'Gorman is Connor Holt. Can't get it. The putback is good. Vermillion Amar. Seven seconds. Miles Drotsman. We're to Bestie. Gary sets the screen. Bestie. Over to Matt Grotenheis, sends it up at the buzzer. Can't get it to go. Your final. O'Gorman 58 and Yankton 40. Yankton falls to 2 and 10, and O'Gorman improves to 8 and 5. Your Yankton Rexall post game show is around the corner. Don't go anywhere. Yankton Rexall, your hometown pharmacy since 1923. This is Yankton Bucks basketball on KYNT and KYN TV. The other day, a guy came into the UPS store to pick up some blueprints we had printed for him. While we were finishing up the order, he asked about business cards as he was about out of his current supply. Hi, this is Doug at the UPS store in Yankton and Vermilion. We all have various printing needs and the UPS store is here to help. 
Stop into our locations in Yankton or Vermillion and ask about our current print specials. Oh, the gentleman from earlier? We had new business cards ready for him the very next business day. Is it the competition that keeps bringing you back? The long-standing rivalries? Or is it seeing friends again and cheering on your favorite team? At First Dakota, we're here for it all. We appreciate the fans, the players, the coaches and officials, the concessions crew. The shared community experience is part of what makes life here great, and we're here for it. See you at the game. First Dakota National Bank, member FDIC. The season is here for sneezing, stuffy noses, and simply getting sick. If you're not feeling well, remember Yankton Medical Clinic Convenient Care is open seven days a week. Appointment is required. Self-schedule online or call today. Whatever works best for you. The physicians and staff wish everyone a healthy, happy new year. They are thankful for the support of their communities and look forward to serving you in the year ahead. At Yankton Medical Clinic, they strive to provide so much care, so close to home. Small businesses are neighbors serving neighbors. Passionate people who give our community character and personality. It's why at f &BO, we're passionate about helping you meet every moment at every stage of your business with guidance and solutions to help you take your business where you want it to go. Online and mobile banking, payments, lending, transfers and deposits, all made easy and more secure so you can do more. f &BO, big believers in small business. Member FDIC. If you want a job where your work matters, you belong at Avera. Here, we've invested in our workforce because every Avera team member drives our health ministry forward, making a difference in lives and communities every day. We offer competitive pay, great health insurance, and even career opportunities. We're putting people first, including you. Search for local job openings and apply at avera.org careers. So I switched my insurance to State Farm and get this. I talked to an actual State Farm agent who lives in my actual town and get this. My actual agent in my actual town gave me actual help with the coverage I needed. And get this, my actual agent in my actual town who gave me actual help actually knows my name. And get this, they actually say it's called service. Call State Farm agent Rhonda Westland at 665-4411. Welcome to the Yankton Rexall Post Game Show. Yankton Rexall, your hometown pharmacy since 1923. Your final on the Edward Jones Financial Advisor, Colby Cooked a scoreboard. It was a Gorman 58 to 40 over Yankton. To win in sports, you have to adapt your strategy as the game changes. The same is true of investments. Colby Cook, to your Edward Jones financial advisor, can review your game plan. Call 605 665 4567 today. Edward Jones, member SIPC. I am in the Fairfield Inn and Suites broadcast booth. Hot breakfast, large family rooms, and a great location can be found at Fairfield Inn and Suites in Yankton at 2607 Broadway Avenue or by calling 605-653-2250. And we don't have an out-of-town scoreboard for you today. You know why? Because it's a rescheduled game. There's no other games in boys' AA basketball, but that would be brought to you by Upper Midwest Garage Door, Specialized in the sales, installation, and service of residential and commercial garage doors and openers throughout eastern South Dakota. Upper Midwest Garage Doors, your local authorized clo pay dealer. And we're actually going to step aside. When we come back, I will have your final stats. And later on in the Yankton Rexall postgame show, I will have Coach Chris Haynes in our postgame coach interview. That's all around the corner here on KYNT Plus and KYN TV. A new year usually brings out the best of intentions in people to get back in shape. Exercising and eating right are just the start of getting healthy. This is Dr. Mackenzie Erlinson at First Chiropractic Centers. Our doctors are trained to recommend therapeutic and rehabilitative exercise as well as provide nutritional, dietary, and lifestyle counseling, all of which are important components in your overall health and wellness. Start your year off right with a call to First Chiropractic Centers, making life better, one adjustment at a time. Visit us at firstchiropracticcenter.com. Medicare coverage is not a one-size-fits-all coverage. Do you like to travel? Are you wanting to spend your winters down south? Or just spend some time with your grandkids? 
make sure you choose a plan that fits your needs and will travel with you. Visit Julie at Missouri River Associates to review your upcoming Medicare or your current needs. That's Julie at Missouri River Associates, 665-6885. Getting the kids to practice on time. Remembering if it's your day to bring snacks. Making it to the game with a clean jersey. Why are simple things sometimes so complicated? Thankfully, with auto owners, insurance doesn't have to be one of them. Auto Owners works with independent agents who answer when you call, so you can worry about more important things, like whether your kid is going to run toward first or third base. That's simple human sense. Don't gamble. Insure with MTRC Smith Insurance in Yankton, your independent agent for home, business, auto, life, and bonds. MTRCSmithInsurance.com. Are you concerned about macular degeneration and the impact it can have on your eyesight? Vision Care Associates is proud to offer new technology that can help diagnose and manage macular degeneration earlier and more effectively than before. With cutting edge equipment and the expertise of Dr. Fieser, Dr. DeYoung, and Dr. Slowey, we're dedicated to providing you with the best possible care. Call today and see the difference. Vision Care Associates, where the health of your eyes comes first. You feel awful. Stuffy nose, then runny nose. Sniffles too. You don't know what to take to make yourself feel better. At Yankton Rexall, when you feel under the weather, we want to help. But there are a lot of over-the-counter choices. Some may even interfere with the daily medications you're taking. The Yankton Rexall staff is there to help you make the best choice for your health. Yankton Rexall, your hometown pharmacy since 1923. Swoosh, nothing but net. Nothing is better than being in the zone on the court or the roads with a brand new car, truck, or SUV from Lewis and Clark Ford Lincoln. Take advantage of the buzzer beater deal going on all month at Lewis and Clark Ford today. He shoots, he scores. That could be you. Get that feeling at Lewis and Clark Ford, a proud sponsor of Yankton High School Athletics. Ground beef is only $2.99 a pound at hy V. That's not a sale price. That's the price with the hy V Perks membership. And $2.99 a pound is not just the price today or this week. It's the Perks price every day. With the hy V Perks membership, you can save on hundreds of products store-wide every time you shop. And count on Perks prices to stay the same. So if you want to pay less for ground beef every day, sign up for hy V Perks. It's free and easy. Some restrictions apply. What's the best beverage to enjoy while rooting on your team? 1919 Root Beer, of course. 1919 is brewed in small batches with only the finest ingredients, real sugar and real vanilla. The unique recipe and these choice ingredients make 1919 the creamiest full-bodied draft root beer available. Find it in 12 packs and single-serve cans at grocery, convenience stores, and restaurants. 1919 is alcohol-free and contains no caffeine, making it a beverage of choice at any time for anyone in the family. Welcome back to the Yankton Rexall post game show. Yankton Rexall, your hometown pharmacy since 1923. Let's jump into your final stats of the game brought to you by Mayor Signs. If it's time to review the look of your business signage, let Mayor Signs help. They offer all types of signs, including lit, non lit, digital, and much more. Contact Mayor Signs today on 4th and Broadway in Yankton. All right, for O'Gorman, Ryland Satter had 15 points. Hayden Gross had 11. Austin Terveen had four. Mason Clark had one. Henry Theobald with three. 11 for Caleb Terveen. Three for Tate Mountie. Six for uh, Nian Dute. And two for Milian Amari. And then for Yankton, Carson Ness had 10. Landon Potts had 19. Tucker Gilmore had 10. T. LaCroix with two. And Bryce Crawl with one. That's your final stat recap again, brought to you by Mayor Signs. And we should jump into your awards of the game. And we'll start with your defensive player of the game, brought to you by Olsen's Pest Technicians, your residential and commercial pest control solution called 1 800 KIL Bugs. For defensive player of the game, I mean, you can go back and forth. 
and I keep thinking about it. Uh, I'm going to give that one tonight to Carson Ness. He had a lot of big tips um, defensively for Yankton uh, in the passing lanes, especially when Yankton started clamping down there in the fourth with that full court uh, press. And then our Top Notch Hustler of the Game brought to you by Top Notch Cleaners for the area's best window cleaning service. Contact Top Notch Glass Cleaning. Call them at 605-760-4664 or go online to yanktonwindowcleaning.com. And for that one, it is going to I made up my mind about at halftime-ish. It's going to be Bryce Crawl tonight. Just some tough rebounds. Hitting the floor. That's always a surefire way to become the top-notch hustler of the game if I see you hit the hardwood. That is Bryce Crawl, our top-notch hustler of the game. Offensive player of the game brought to you by High V. It was a helpful smile in every aisle. Lead score for Yankton tonight was Landon Potts with 19. And he had four three-pointers to help make that happen. Our move of the game brought to you by Mason Strom and the Move Group. Buying or selling, move with Mason and the Move Group. I'll put that highlight up either tonight or tomorrow, but that is going to go to Tegan at LaCroix at about the 235 mark in the second period. He went for a ball. He was almost in a jump ball situation. He was in the middle of the paint. He stepped around and realized when he made one big pivot in the paint that he was left open. Just kind of threw it up at the rim, after the glass, and it was good. That was our move of the game. Again, your out-of-town scoreboard. Don't have one. This is a rescheduled game. No other games going on on a Monday night. That will be brought to you by Upper Midwest Garage Door, specializing in the sales, installation, and service of residential and commercial garage door solutions in eastern South Dakota. Upper Midwest Garage Door is your local authorized clo pay dealer. We'll take a break, come back, and hopefully have Coach Chris Haynes here in our Yankton uh, Rexall postgame uh, show on KYNT and KYNTV. Don't get caught in the cold this winter. Call the heating and cooling experts at Kaiser Heating and Cooling today. Our team of experienced trained technicians are here to ensure your home stays warm and comfortable all season long with heating system installations, maintenance, and energy efficient solutions to keep those utility bills in check. And if your old heating system is on its last leg, ask us about current train system offers. Don't wait until it's too late. Kaiser Heating and Cooling, serving the Yankton area for over 76 years. Be the wiser and go with Kaiser. Call Kaiser Heating and Cooling today. You may have heard us say when you're shopping online, check things out before checkout. One in four people who reported losing money to fraud since 2021 said it started on social media. If you follow your favorite businesses on social media to get updates about upcoming events and promotions, you're not the only one. Scammers are watching too, and they may hijack legit businesses, giveaways, and promotions to try to get your personal and financial information. Contact the South Dakota Attorney General's Office of Consumer Protection at 800-300-1986. Don't just bank, be an explorer. Here at Explorers Credit Union, we do banking differently. As a not-for-profit, member-owned credit union, we know that financial wellness isn't a destination, it's a journey. We're here to help you set goals and reach them with the financial tools, expertise, and support you need. If you're looking for better rates on your loans and local service from your friends and neighbors, Explorers Credit Union has you covered. Learn how we can help your financial journey at explorerscu.com. At Triple Time Rudy's, not only do you get top-notch fuel to keep you on the move, but it's a destination for delicious local treats. You'll find quality South Dakota products like Dimmick Cheese and premium meats from the Kaler and Renner Lockers. It's your community's pit stop for more than just fuel. Triple Time Rudy supports schools and events and provides fuel discounts to Yankton's largest employers. For all your daily fill-ups and convenience needs, stop by Triple Time Rudy's at 17th and Broadway. The mission of State Farm is to help people manage the risks of everyday life, recover from the unexpected, and realize their dreams. Hi, I'm Roy Wilcox with State Farm Insurance. We have been helping customers get to a better state for over 100 years. No matter where you are in life, we're here to help you make the right play calls for your insurance coverage. Give me a call or stop by anytime. Call Roy Wilcox State Farm Insurance today, 665-7140. Find more at RoyWilcox.com. The other day, a gal came into the UPS store to drop off a package. On her way out, she noticed the print sample wall and asked if we could print invitations. The answer was, yes, we can. Hi, this is Doug at the UPS store in Yankton and Vermilion. For over seven years now, the UPS store has been helping hundreds of customers with their printing needs. From basic copies to business cards and invitations to posters, we can print them. Stop out and ask about our current print specials and see how we can help with your printing needs. 
Is it the competition that keeps bringing you back? The long-standing rivalries? Or is it seeing friends again and cheering on your favorite team? At First Dakota, we're here for it all. We appreciate the fans, the players, the coaches and officials, the concessions crew. The shared community experience is part of what makes life here great, and we're here for it. See you at the game. First Dakota National Bank, member FDIC. Oh, Sheboygan, I just can't get you off my mind. There's no better way to tip off your party than with Sheboygan Natural Casing Wieners, all beef hot dogs, or cocktail smokies. Make your party a slam dunk. Put some Sheboygan on the table. Available at your favorite local grocer and produced with pride at Simple Meats in Yankton. The way you taste is simply divine. I got Sheboygan on my mind. Sheboygan. The season is here for sneezing, stuffy noses, and simply getting sick. If you're not feeling well, remember Yankton Medical Clinic Convenient Care is open seven days a week. Appointment is required. Self-schedule online or call today, whatever works best for you. The physicians and staff wish everyone a healthy, happy new year. They are thankful for the support of their communities and look forward to serving you in the year ahead. At Yankton Medical Clinic, they strive to provide so much care, so close to home. So, you need a new vehicle. What's the best vehicle for you? Where do you get financing? What's your trade worth? Answer all these questions and more at BillionAuto.com. You can compare 16 new car brands and thousands of used vehicles, all in the palm of your hand, at BillionAuto.com. Plus, estimate the trade value of your vehicle in two easy steps. It's car buying made easy. Apply for credit pre-approval at BillionAuto.com. All applications accepted, not all approved. And welcome back to the Yankton Rexall Post Game Show. Yankton Rexall, your hometown pharmacy since 1923. And we'll have Coach Chris Haynes join us in the Yankton Rexall Post Game Show as he's making his way over here now. And what can I do to procrastinate or buy time for about two minutes? Well, we can talk about the game. And so Yankton, obviously, they had a big surge there in late third. Um, early fourth and made it a game there um, near the end and overall just love the fight of these yanked in a box didn't go the way that coach chris haynes or anyone wanted the game to go obviously but if one thing is true about this yanked in team throughout this entire season has just been nothing but fight um in this team and you just love to see that and the wins eventually i think you're going to start uh, getting more and more as the season progresses as you look at the schedule i think there are some wins on the horizon for the yanked in uh, bucks uh, but one thing I said you'll be positive about is the fight from this Yankton Bucks squad will always uh, be there. And that, thing, that I am 100% sure about. And our post-game coach interview brought to you by Rhonda Westland State Farm Insurance. Let Rhonda review your current home, auto, or life insurance to see if she can help you save some money. That's Rhonda Westland State Farm. As we'll welcome in uh, Coach Chris Haynes here as he gets his headset. And Coach, thanks for joining us. Um, obviously, uh, just get started with your op op opening thoughts on this matchup versus O'Gorman. Yeah, um, you know, struggled to score in the first quarter early in the game. Um, you know, I thought both teams had good shots, and, and neither team could just kind of find the find the basket. And uh, you know, Carson throws one in at the buzzer, a long one to get it tied at eight. Uh, so it was a slow start. And then um, second quarter, you know, we just got killed on the glass and uh, gave up too many second, third chance opportunities. And we've been better on the boards, but, uh, you know, as of late, and then, you know, because we struggled early in the season, and then Friday night at Brandon wasn't, wasn't great on the boards and tonight either. And uh, obviously not having Matthew Sheldon doesn't ha help that either. Yeah, hopefully he's feeling better and will be back with us soon. Um, yeah, because, you know, he's a big, strong kid. They got big, strong kids, and he's a big, strong kid for us. Uh, so we definitely missed him tonight. And, uh, you know, like I said, hopefully he's feeling better. But, you know, you, you, there's no excuses. And uh, we got guys that, uh, you know, you get in there and, and you compete and you – uh, you know, we always prided ourselves on being able to defend and rebound, and um, you know, those are effort things and, and hustling and, and and competing. And so we got to get better at that. You already alluded to it. You see, I have my notes here, but uh, Yank did about four and a half minutes into the third before able to score in the second half. Kind of, what was your thoughts on that? Oh, we had opportunities. You know, 
down seven and a half. Didn't think we played that good in the first half, and it's still right there. And come out, and we miss a layup to start the third quarter. We miss a couple uh, other really good opportunities to score and transition, and in the half court. And uh, you know, O'Gorman makes a couple baskets, and next thing you know. It, um, you know, when it should be single digits in a one-two possession game, instead it's 12. Uh, I think we got down 15 or so in that third quarter. But then, you know, give our guys credit. They uh, kept playing and battling back and, and got it to within 10 with five minutes to go. Obviously, you want to convert more of those opportunities, but I noticed you're implementing the full court press. I think that was like late third, early fourth yeah. or whatever. But you were getting a lot of opportunities, so that was a positive outlook for the Bucks defense. They were getting those opportunities. Yeah, yeah. We were able to pressure a little bit and get some steals, but then we just weren't able to convert off of them. Um, you know, or at least not at a high enough percentage. And, you know, that's the, that's the part of it. Um, that should be the fun part, right? You do the hard part and work in and get the steal and then uh, to go convert. We just didn't do that at a high enough rate. Uh, LaCroix and Drotsman, we talked about them at Douglas, and you talked about them before in the last couple games. But every game out there, they're seeing more and more comfortable on the floor. That's a big thing for freshmen going out there and playing varsity minutes. Yeah, it's huge. Obviously, uh, we need some depth and we need some more minutes. So, uh, and I think you hit it right on, Bryce, is that uh, the more those guys are out there, the more comfortable they're going to get, especially against competition like this. You know, big, strong, fast guys, and uh, the game's really fast. And uh, But they're holding their own out there, and uh, hopefully here, as the season goes on, the last month of the season, they can really get comfortable and be playing at a, at a high level here come postseason time. Hey, I had rugby on at halftime. Do you think he has a future up here? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. R r rugby would be good at whatever he wants to be good at. <laughs> Coach, always appreciate your time, and we'll talk to you before uh, Friday's matchup. All right, sounds good. Thanks a lot, Bryce. All right, that was Coach Chris Haynes. Always appreciate him joining us. And we'll take one last break, come back, and wrap things up in the Yankton Rexall postgame show. FNBO is the great big small bank, and for more than 165 years, we've been with you where you are. A bank that's ready for all your needs, both big and small. Here to help you earn more, save more, so you can do more every step of the way. It's what you can expect from the great big small bank. FNBO, independent and family owned for six generations and ever so focused on you. Stop on by or visit us at fnbo.com, member FDIC. If you want a job where your work matters, you belong at Avera. Here, we've invested in our workforce because every Avera team member drives our health ministry forward, making a difference in lives and communities every day. We offer competitive pay, great health insurance, and even career opportunities. We're putting people first, including you. Search for local job openings and apply at avera.org careers. I put on the wrong headset. <laughs> I put on the headset I gave Coach Chris Haynes. I apologize. Welcome back to the Yankton Rexall postgame show. Yankton Rexall, your hometown pharmacy since 1923. All right. Well, that will wrap things up here today. Again, your final, uh, O'Gorman over Yankton, 58-40. to 40. And let's jump into you. I don't remember a block of the game uh, but that is sponsored. I want to uh, thank H&R Block, one of Yankton's biggest and best employers. Excuse me. H&R Block with a block of the game. Open year-round, providing bookkeeping, payroll, and tax services. Call 665-3366. Tax season is here, so we're getting here closer. When does tax season open? Anyway, H&R Block. Again, open year-round, providing bookkeeping, payroll, and tax services. Call 665-3366. That's H&R Block in Yankton. All right. Your schedule preview brought to you by Roy Wilcox State Farm Insurance. Roy Wilcox State Farm Insurance has helping customers get to a better state for over 100 years. No matter where you are in life, they'll help you make the right play calls for your insurance coverage. That's Roy Wilcox State Farm. All right, and for O'Gorman, they will be traveling to Rapid City Central at Stevens on Friday and Saturday for a West River swing. Yankton travels to Pier on Friday. Thanks to Scotty Borman, our 